Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be comparing two products for you, both from Charlotte Tilbury, so I'm sure you can already guess how excited I am for this. But we are gonna be comparing the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer and the brand new Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. So this one just came out and I absolutely fell in love. So I thought it would be fun to compare these two because I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering now which one is more worth buying, which one you should get, all that. So we are gonna be going over the ins and outs of both and then testing them out right next to each other to see what they look like, how they feel, all that. So before we do get into it, please give this video a thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so, so much if you do. But if you want to see me compare these two concealers, then stay tuned for the rest of the video. All right. So like I said, both of these are from Charlotte Tilbury. This one has been around for a while and this one is brand new. This just came out and I just tried it out. So I was thinking to myself, after I tried it out, because I like this one a lot, a lot, a lot too, I was like, I wonder what they would look like next to each other and I wonder which one would be better. Now I'm genuinely curious, so I thought it would be fun to show you guys what they look like next to each other, just give you an idea of what I like about both, what I don't like about both, what I think is more worth it, all that. So that's what we are doing i'm very very excited for this one you guys know how i feel about charlotte tilbury products so i'll just take any chance to try them out and talk about them <laughs> so i have it pulled up on the website so i'm just gonna read the descriptions about both of them we can test them out right next to each other first and then we can try them out one on one side one on the other and then just see what we think from there so the first one I have pulled up is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer, which is the one that's been around longer, this one. It goes for $33, and I have mine in the shade 4. So this one I think is going to be a little bit lighter than the other one. And this has 0.13 fluid ounces. So as for the description, it says a full coverage, long lasting, dark circle diminishing, color correcting concealer. So it's full coverage, natural finish, liquid formulation. It also says Magic Away reduces the appearance of dark circles, pigmentation, redness, blemishes, and imperfections while creating the appearance of firmer, lifted skin. The unique Magic Precision Face Applicator Sponge, an applicator which hugs your skin, is designed to roll over imperfections and hug the under eye contour for the most flawless application. As for the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer, this one is also $33, so they're the same price. This one actually has more product. It's 0.25 ounces, so you get like, I don't know, what is that? Like seven or eight more ounces in this one than you do the other. And this one I have in the shade five, so the other one is more fair. And this one is more medium, so I'm hoping it's not too big of a difference, but we'll see. And then for the description on this one, it says a creamy skin-like medium to full coverage concealer that visibly conceals, brightens, and lifts eyes and face, available in 30 waterproof shades, up to 16 hours of wear. It's medium coverage, radiant finish, liquid formulation. And it says, Charlotte Tilbury developed this skincare-infused concealer to improve the look of skin with each application. Designed with a doe foot applicator for easy application, the lightweight and long-wearing formula visibly hydrates, brightens, and smooths the complexion. So, honestly, as far as how they're being described, they sound similar, but this one just sounds like something that I would gravitate towards a little bit more because it's that medium coverage. It's a little bit more radiant. It's not as full. And I like the fact that this mentions that it's very, very, very long wearing. Like 16 hours is a long time. I don't know yet how true that is because I did just try this out, but I'll keep you guys posted in a future video about that. Another thing that I do want to mention, obviously I've used both, so I know how they're packaged. Just looking at them like this from the outside, I like the Magic Away packaging more, but when you open them up, the new one has a doe foot applicator, so it's a little bit easier to apply with. This can be a little bit harder to open, 
and then when you open it up it's a sponge which I like the sponge at first when it's still clean but then it gets like very saturated with product and the sponge like breaks apart and it gets very very messy so I feel like a lot of product gets wasted that way so I like the idea of the packaging but this one is just more practical and a little bit cleaner so I prefer the packaging on this even though this one is prettier so in terms of how they actually look and feel I'm gonna take both of them just on the back of my hand so we can look at them right next to each other just as a little swatch So the Magic Away one is definitely thicker, like you can visibly see that it's thicker, but I'm actually very, very surprised because this is the new one and it looks lighter than the Magic Away. Magic Away, again, like I said, is shade four and then the new one is shade five, but the new one looks lighter. So that's very interesting. Honestly though, just looking at them like this, I like the way that the new one looks a little bit more and it just felt smoother going on so we'll see once it's on my face that's pretty much all i have to say for the time being though so we can get started on applying i'm gonna do the beautiful skin radiant concealer on this side and then i'll do the magic away concealer on this side and then i'll show you guys the process and we'll come back and talk details once i'm done applying so let's just get started and then we'll talk a little bit more Okay guys, I am back. I just finished applying. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup really quick and then I'll give you all the details, but I just quickly wanted to show you guys what they look like side by side and I think we can see a clear difference in the two. This one is brightening up my face a lot more than the beautiful skin one is. That's the only thing I'm gonna say for right now though. I wanna just put the rest of my makeup on and then I'll give you guys the details once I'm like a little bit more done up. So I'm gonna go do my makeup and I will be right back and we'll talk. All right guys, I am back with the rest of my makeup applied. I'm feeling good, I'm looking good, looking bright. I love both, honestly. <laughs> I'm like kind of at a loss because both of these look so amazing. So the first thing that I noticed was that this side is lighter and it is a lighter shade so that's not surprising, but it is surprising because when I swatched them on the back of my hand, the Magic Away side for some reason looked like it was like a little bit darker. But this side definitely on the face was a little bit brighter, but applying it this side went on so much smoother like it just felt so much easier to swipe under my eye with the applicator first because the applicator is a lot easier to work with and it just felt a lot less thick and just like more smooth if that makes sense like this side was good too and it looks beautiful but the applicator made it so much harder to like get it in the spots i wanted to get it and it definitely felt thicker. Like this one is definitely thicker than this one. And it felt a little bit stickier than the beautiful skin one. And then the other difference that I noticed, which is not a huge difference, but it's still there, is the fact that this side is definitely more on the radiant side than this one. And this one's definitely more like matted down. Not matte per se, but it is more matte than this side for sure. And it's definitely more of a full coverage than this side. Like this side was just, it felt like there was less product on me. And obviously it didn't cover as much as this side did. But I still felt like honestly this side covered up everything that I needed it to. It covered my dark circles, any blemishes that I had. And it really brightened up the areas that I wanted brightened. This one just did a little bit more of that because it is more of a full coverage. 
They both look and feel really, really amazing though. Like I am torn because they both look amazing. And I put makeup on on top on both sides so that we could see how they look with makeup on top and how they work with products. Both amazing with other makeup products. But I will say that this side just looks a little bit less thick and a little bit more skin-like. So that's, I guess, the main takeaway I would say is that this one is definitely more full coverage than this one, but this one still covers everything that you need it to and then some. Like both look really, really amazing. So overall, here's what I'll say. For me personally and what I like on a day-to-day -day basis, I would choose the new one, the Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer because you guys know I'm a big medium coverage person and I love like the radiance that this gives me. I love how just lightweight it is. I prefer the packaging on this one. This one's just giving me everything that I want and need in a concealer. So day to day, I would definitely choose the new Beautiful Skin Concealer. I just think it's more practical and works better for every day. Now, if I was going on like a very special occasion and I really wanted to do like a full coverage kind of look, like let's say like for someone's wedding or something, and I just wanted to be like completely fully glammed out, then I would choose the Magic Away, which I'm not saying that this one wouldn't work for that because it would. This would still be amazing for an occasion like that. But this one just covers up a little bit more and it gives you more of that kind of like full glam kind of look. So I would probably choose this one for those days where I want that more like full coverage, full glam thing. So overall, I think if you're trying to choose between the two, it comes down to whether you like a medium radiant or a matte-ish full coverage kind of thing. For every day, I will be choosing this. And when I go out, I'll probably be choosing this because it's easier to work with, just looks really nice, it feels really good. This one, when I want like a full, full, full glam, then I will choose this. So both amazing. You can't go wrong either way. It just comes down to what you're going to use them for and what features you like more. So that is it for today's video. That was a fun one. I'm really glad that I did this because now I know like big differences between the two and I can compare how they look right next to each other, which is both amazing. But now I know things that I didn't know before and I hope it helped you too. So comment and let me know what you guys thought about how they both turned out. Let me know what you like more, like what differences and similarities you're seeing. Just let me know your thoughts on the two. Give this a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel, but stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video.